Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are back with Strange Horticulture. So, um, was it last episode that we learned how to do this? Oh, that episode before that. I don't even know. But we did get this little coin here a while ago. We have a lot of stuff in here that I don't even know what we're supposed to be doing with it. We got this at the end of last episode. Just into bay, a noble elder stood silently watching starry skies. What the heck is Tabay? Open up the map and see Tabay in Tabay. There's a whole Tabay <laughs> it's sitting right here. So how about we just try our luck and see if this is just, if, if, it, if it really is easy. You wouldn't think following the modern railway line into Tabay that this prosperous village was once home to a notorious prophetess. Mary Baines, a local witch, haunted the locals with her tales about the end of the world. Although such progn oh gosh, prognostications may seem quaint nowadays, her grave in the churchyard is still avoided by all in the village and nothing grows there. Okay, so that wasn't it. In Tibet, a noble elder stood silently watching starry skies. So maybe it's next to it? I don't know, but something else, um, real quick, uh, Rory had mentioned trying is maybe seeing if this here matches. Uh, oh, shooting me. Is it right here? Look at this. Look at this N six. You know what I hate? When I first got this, I was I was sitting here putting it in the corners. It never even occurred to me. But I think it's N6, y'all. I actually think that's what it is. Let's do some um let's do some watering. Let's do some watering. See if we can hurry up that will to explore. If that's it, <laughs> I'll be so mad that I didn't even like that I thought to put it in the corners, but not to match it up with the stinking coast. Like why? All right, so before we go back to Bay, let's try this. N6. Hot dog. Rory, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the gentle sound of flowing water, the sunlight through scattered clouds, a reset. I know what that means. We got new flowers though. Oh gosh, this looks like um something else that we have already. And so does that. Unbelievable. Why didn't I think to do that? I don't know. I can't explain it. I can't explain why I didn't think to do that. I can't. All right. What we haven't done in a while, before we start clicking on the bell, is doing some more figuration of, ooh, see, look at this here. That looks like this. Just Aguria, when burned in, when burned, incense made from the woody stem can enhance psychic abilities, strengthening the clarity of visions and prophecies. Light blue flowers, light blue flowers, like rounded tufts of gentle lamb's wool characterize this plant. Light blue flowers. Boom. Okay. So this is going to be Aguria that we think. Okay. Uh, cauldry. I don't think we have cauldry. This just doesn't look like it. Like this looks very different. It looks very different. I don't. I don't think we have that. Uh, copper, Caledonian. That's a mushroom. Oh, do we think this is it? Yeah. Okay, we think that's it. Okay. Uh, devil's nightcap. This plant is known, uh, I hate this word, colloquially, as a corpse fiend, friend. If ingested as a seed, it will cause a slow and agonizing death, and the plant will grow out of the body once deceased. It has a light, pleasant scent, not dissimilar to the pine needles. Boiling the root in vinegar creates a tonic against fevers and poisons. Okay, so does the leaves, these leaves don't look like it. And we already checked out, I think, other things to see if we thought it was it. 
It, it might be this. I don't know. A light, pleasant scent. So is it possible? Is this? I just don't see these little lines on the leaves. Normally, when they show things on the leaves, it looks like it. But I don't know. It might be. We'll have to go back to that one. Um, Dranthium. Did we have anything we thought was Dranthium? Nope. Okay. We were right here. Why, why'd I do that? A plant with the powerful mind-altering abilities. Those who inhale smoke from burning its long, sharp leaves alleviate their awareness to leaves uh, levels otherwise unachievable. Some know Dranthium as Green Eye, a name derived from the telltale sign of overdose where even the whites of the eye take on a green tint. None of these look like they're that sharp, though. I don't think it's that. Oh, this one. We think this is either Dranthium or Embersol. Okay. Never mind. So we think that one's that. Farmer's worry. We ain't got no other uh mushroom looking thing, so no. We we think this is fever kiss. Uh henchuck. We think that's henchuck, okay. Uh Lark Larkshire Shine? Lark Shine? Nope, okay. Let's see. Mm. Lark Shine is a plant with a powerful defense mechanism. It releases stinging barbs triggered by a light touch. The pain is said to be unbearable and can last for several days. Sometimes confusingly called kidney flower, this is thought to be a reference to the kidney-shaped seeds held within the spiny pods growing on this plant. Yeah, I'm still not sure about that one. Still not sure. Uh, Thorium. The dark red, okay, yeah, this one has dark red fruit. And I don't see anything here that has dark red fruit, so we're just gonna leave that one for now. Trimble Huff, we think it's this one right here. Wild Coal. Purple Berries. I remember that one. We don't have anything. We don't think we have anything with purple berries. That's it. So maybe we haven't gotten a page for this just yet. Oh, what are y'all doing over here? Did we discover this story? No, we think this is story. Okay. Oh gosh, how did this happen? Did we discover this? What is this? Y'all, I hope I did not mess this up. And like we discovered this and... Wait a minute. Why is this out of place? What is happening with my little... Okay, this is about to make me now have to go back through everything. Because now I'm not even sure if I messed this up and didn't mark these. I'm gonna have to go back and look, y'all. Because now I'm worried. Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll find out. Anyway, okay, so back to this. So Tabay clearly wasn't that. Where's, where the heck is that card? Here it is. In Tabay, a noble, noble elder stood silently watching starry skies. May we try this one? Why'd I come here? Nope. All right, well, let me get some more will. We'll maybe try a different area or something, but let's go ahead and call the first uh, visitor. Long Meg? Sorry, I've not heard of it, but I'll keep an eye out for you in the library. Oh, we already finished that. We figured that out. As long as you can get me some fever kiss, that is. Too many late nights at the library are taking their toll. Oh, was that not supposed to like, were they gonna tell me what Long Meg was? Oops. Well, I looked it up, but I'm glad I looked it up because to be honest with you, I never would have known that that was a real freaking thing. And now I feel like I need to look into it some more. Like some of the things like, and then how much of this other stuff in here is stuff that is like real, like in the world to look up. So I'm kind of curious about that as well. All right, so Fever Kiss. We think this is Fever Kiss, let's see. Yes, so we got Fever Kiss. Go ahead and write that down. Fever kiss. All right. And we got a book entry. 
Mountain Astery. Promotes an aura of confidence and persuasiveness. The large cup-like flowers produce a stale, damp smell. Well, I don't think we have anything like that. I feel like we know that. All right, where is Fever Kiss? Here it is. All right, thank you. Come over here. All right, so we're about to get some um, will to explore. Into Bay, watching the starry skies. Hmm. I mean, that's to Bay. We can try to the, so we did to the right, I mean, to the left of it. We can do to the right. Nope. Why'd I come here? Okay. We'll keep trying. That's fine. Aw. Uh, Safer's back. There's talk around town of a woman who wears a green mask made of jade. There are all sorts of oddballs in Undermere, but that's certainly unusual. Got a letter. And some will. Beckfoot candle. Okay, we got another one like this. Cantemere Eye Beckfoot Candle. This is a candle. Is this is this is this Cantemere Eye? It, or is this whole thing Cantemere Eye? I have a feeling that these things mean something. Cantemere Eye Beckfoot Candle. Is Beckfoot something on here? I'm just taking a look. Cantemere. Like, remember when they were telling us about the thing? They were like, like, do we do, like, Kentmere Eye? Like, do we start at Kentmere? Not a candle up here. I thought it meant, like, it's going to point to something, but the candle's up there. Hmm. Why is this still out? Like, why is it not in the archive? I don't know. Yeah, we have so much stuff. Ooh, Black Hall Road Kindle. We never did this. What's this? Mm. Black Hall Road Kindle. Arcade. Booms, 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 boom. Kindle. You want to go try Kindle? Yes. I found the medicinal herbology shop off Black Hall Road. I know you, said the man behind the counter. Robert Barrow, presumably. You're the owner of Strange Horticulture. Two hours later, after a lengthy and engaging discussion covering a variety of botanical subjects, we decide on a trade. It turns out Robert is a collector of unusual fungi, and I have just the thing for him. All right, so Copper Caledonian. So we think that that was, is this. So let's first. Oh, let's first see why we thought that's it. This plant has a rejuvenation effect, but most who have tried to benefit from its properties have come to realize that it's a curse, not a blessing. Though you may appear younger, you will quickly become more frail and brittle. The red spores that are often seen growing on it are in fact the type of fungus themselves and not a part of the plant. I mean, this seems pretty self-explanatory because this has spores, but it don't look nothing like this. But yeah, so I am going to go with our first guess. Yes, all right. So we did, oh God, we got three plants. All right, the copper, copper. Caledonian. Uh, Caledonian. Okay. Wow. Three. Three whole plants, y'all. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. 
blue flowers. Oh, okay. I don't I don't know. It's like I don't know these. All right, so this one can move over here. Okay. Cool. Can we look in the archive? We can. Okay. Like, why didn't this go in the archive? Like, you see how that one went? Oh, no, that's something different. Some of these went to the archive by themselves. Why didn't this one go? Hmm. I'm gonna keep it, but this is done. Can I put it up here? I can. Okay. All right. So, what else do we have? That's what this thing is. Let's read this one more time. Uh, oh, let's look at this one. Made from the crusted petals of three distinctive plants. Okay, I remember this. Balox elixir is a potent aid to memory, allowing those to drink it to ensure that they retain important information that they will never forget. Care must be taken at the drinking, however, to avoid the fate the Grey Gale of Grey Gale, who slowly lost her mind after Balox and staring after taking Balox and staring at a blank wall for twelve hours. So I'm wondering if we just have to hold on to this till later. Like, is someone gonna come? and ask us for Baylox elixir and we're gonna have to maybe put like these three plants in there to give it to them or something you know what i'm saying like i don't know i'm not sure yeah all right so let's put that one back actually hold on keep that all right so let's take okay no we don't need that hit me your eye I guess we could hold on to that. Is that it? Yeah. All right. So first, look at this. Okay. In here, it works. I remember that. <laughs> what about you? Nope. It's like, remember, we kept getting these little things right here. And we couldn't actually use, like, do anything until we got them all. So I'm wondering if that has anything to do with it. I don't know. Okay, nope. Let's see what this says. It says, to encode a location, you would then place the disc over some named point on the map nearby. And note whichever symbol is pointing to the location. Whatever symbol is pointing to the location? It may be necessary to stream multiple symbols together, but you can use this method to reach any other point on the map as required. So like if Kentmere's eye was first. And it's at the end, note what, at whichever symbol is pointing to the location. Hold on. Note whatever symbol is pointing to the location. I don't get that because the symbols are pointing, everything's pointing outwards. So what do you mean? Oh, wait, symbol. What's the next one? Beckfoot candle. What is Beckfoot candle? Black Barrel. Okay, either now. Oh, Beckfoot. It still doesn't make sense though, because why wouldn't why wouldn't it just tell me it's Beckford? You know what I'm saying? Like Camp Mirror. Pointing to it. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Anyway, um, okay. Uh, how do I get out of here? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know yet. 
I must think. Uh, um, let's do this one, I guess. Again, then we click the bell. So we did left and right. Starry. This is so weird. In Tibet, a noble elder stood silently watching starry, starry skies. I'm looking at these, I'm like, okay, is it? I don't know. I'm like, is it Southwest? <laughs> like North, like North, East, South, South, West, South, South. I feel like this might be silly. So like North, East, South, South, West, South, South. Oh, shoot. Wow. Every time I think I'm being stupid, like, it turns out to be right. How sway. Okay. Wow. Okay. I find myself on a patch of moorland surrounded by jagged peaks and menacing clouds. A distinctive plant stands out against the swatches of purple heather. And there, another. Yeah, I can't believe that worked. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. All right, we got new plants. Aha. I think I know what this one is. I think I know what this one is. Y'all, that's worked. That really worked. Wow. Okay. Um, okay, we think we know what Aguria is. I, I think that's this. It says. Okay, it doesn't really say, any, say anything, actually. It grows from a thin stem with small leaves. I mean, look, thin stem, small leaves. And the shape looks just like it. So I'm going to go with the guess that this is cauldry. Cauldry, sorry. Y'all, that actually worked. Unbelievable. Wow. Sometimes you just be proud of yourself. Like, <laughs> okay. Oh, let's do another. I've been talking to people around town, trying to learn as much as I can about this beef that is rumored to have been seen in these parts. In the old world, they called this thing the servant. But the people here seem to have forgotten last name. Oh, that name. Except the group calling themselves the Seeds of Redemption. They are something I did not expect. And they have made it clear that they want me to stay away from the servant. The servant or servant? They seem to worship it. But I'm getting distracted. My Drithani th the Drithanium supplies are running low. Okay. Uh... Alright, so we're not sure. We think that this may be it. Let's go back to the book. Ah, okay, yeah. It's the one that has the... Um, long, sharp leaves. And we said it can either be this or Embersole. Yeah, I don't think this is Embersole. I, okay, I think I think it's this. Let's see. Hey! All right. Grand. Yum. Okay. Cool. Italian. Most plants offer a small improvement to air quality, but the palliance in this, is in its class of its own. It is sometimes called sweet breath, thanks to the freshness of air in its vicinity. The many short leaves of this plant are thought to help filter toxins from the surrounding air. All right, that's great and everything, but I need to do this. All right. 
cool. All right, another one for the books. We got three so far. Um, I can't leave that work, y'all. Did we we use it on this, right? Yeah, Tomb of the Hunter, the Great Oak, and then that Elder Pinium we found over there. Um. Yeah, I don't know what else that we could do. Like, I don't feel like we can do anything with this. Like, I don't have anything to put flowers in, you know? And this. Oh! Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Kent Mir I. Is it saying do this, Kent Mir? And then go to the eye and see where it's pointing to. So for instance, is it this one? Is it E27 or 28? Let's try 27. Like if we're Desmac in the middle, Kentmir. Let's try 27, then we'll try 28. Okay. From Kentmir, I follow the bearing of the eye and end up in a small forest north of Kendall. The woods are thick, with brayer and brambles, but almost a tangled undergrowth. A type of flower is flourishing. Y'all, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Oh, a mystery solved. We got another achievement. And it's the picture of that little disc. So I guess our first time using it. Look, purple berries, purple berries. Hold the phone. Look, it's checked off, yay. Hold the phone, hold the phone. It's purple berries. We we saw something that said something about purple berries. Is it wild coal? The purple berries. Yep. Okay. So we think. Where you at? There you are. We think this might be wild coal. Okay. Oh. Wow! I can't believe you got that. Okay. So this one, back back foot candle. So that means let's do some watering. I'm gonna sip some tea while I water. Tea for the throat. What kind of tea do y'all like? I use chamomile with honey. I stopped putting sugar in my tea and I just use like raw sugar and just use honey. Okay. So, Beckfoot Candle. So, we found Beckfoot over here. This is not what I'm looking for. <laughs> Beckfoot. Okay, the circle's here. So, I'm going to go with the, the square the circle's in. In this Beckfoot Candle. So, is it this one? The candle leads me east of Wast, of Wastwater. To the north, the mighty scaffold pike grazes the sky. The tallest peak in England. The challenge beckons to me. Perhaps another time. We got a plan. Yes. We know. We know. We know. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. We know what that is. Uh. What was it? Okay. Yep. Lark shine. Look at this. Looks just like it. I'm wary of those spines. Look at that. Shape and everything. It's got to be. It's got to be. Lark shine. You can stay right there too. On that side. Y'all, yes. Like, yes. We got those too. So now... I mean, I, we might have to keep this because it gives us instructions. It says it may be necessary to string multiple symbols together, but you can use this method to reach any other point on the map required. Yeah. And I'm not sure we can use that. And then this lo looks like instructions too. And then what's this? Gosforth. Do we have a Gosforth here? That sounds familiar. Gosforth. Do y'all want to try to go? I mean, we have the coin. And I don't remember if we've tried to go before. 
unless we need this coin for later. But we're almost at the will to explore. So how about we just go ahead and um let it tick and go to Gosforth and see what happens now that we have the coin. I should, oh gosh. I should not have, oh gosh, we're getting death. Should not have come here. A darkness hangs over the town like an executioner's blade. I feel a rising dread in my chest. Uh-oh. I knew that was coming. We knew that. We knew that. Never mind. Never mind. I crept around Black Comb two nights ago in the pitch black. That I brighted some potent stuff. I could see clear as day. Up on the fell, I found a shallow pit full of skulls. Some deer, fox, badger, and some human. There was an eerie silence about the place, and every part of me was screaming to get out of there. Back down on the flat, I heard a terrible noise, like an axe maker's whetstone, but unmistakably animal. High on the ridgeline, I saw a cowled woman wearing a jade mask watching me, and beside her, something dark, inhuman, and bloody huge. Don't mind admitting that I'm out of my depth on this one. I need to speak to Verona again. While I'm here, I'll grab some wild coal for my pounding head. Okay, so we thought, oh, uh, you'd have been out drinking too if you'd seen what I did. So he thinks, he, he saw her, unknown, the woman in the jade mask. Yeah, that's what he saw. All right, uh, wild coal. Let's see. Woo! Wild coal. Okay. Collect that entry. This looks gnarly. Norwood. A bite of the crunchy root of this plant has the effect of a cold bucket of water thrown over the face, an unpleasant sensation accompanied by sharp focus. It is claimed that Norwood releases spores that are invisible to the naked eye, showing up only under unnatural light. How the heck am I supposed to know what this is? How? Uh, Norwood. What's this? Smells rotten. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't really give much. An overpowering, sickly sweet scent. Crunch of the roots. Purple flowers with a gentle scent. Dark blue smells like sweet rhubarb. It needs to give a small amount of light. Hmm. Sweet scent. We never look at this one. It has a distinctive smell that reminds me of old books. Musty. That thing looks kind of nasty. It's like it would like eat something, you know? Purple flowers, long leaves. Okay. And then this one. It has a pleasant, fresh aroma. Oh. Uh, okay. Anyway, moving on. Emily Costigan. Well, this looks like the right place. I don't want to have to tra is it tra traips? I, mean, I, I don't know that word, y'all. All the way over here, over to Red Pike. So hopefully you got what I'm after. It's a non-flowering plant with smallish leaves and it seems to grow mostly on Red Pike. At least that's the only place I found it. What? Seems to grow only in Red Pike. Y'all, did we get something? Wait, 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 wait. We saw, oh. I wish, I wish this book had a search, like a word search, you know? Cause some, one of these mentioned something about Red Pike. I remember. Let me just take a look through this book real quick. I don't wanna, I don't wanna kill valuable time and then I'll come back if I find it. Okay, I found it. It was actually the next page. Common Trouse. It says, grown in abundance on the slopes of Red Pike. Nobody knows why. Okay, so Common Trouse. So hopefully that's what she's looking for. Um, 
sheesh i don't i mean it's something that we just found not too long ago so i'm gonna assume you know what is it this no uh that nope that's ren non-flowering plant here it is let's see yep okay i'm in trials i remembered that i was like one of these things said red pike like i specifically remembered that Poor Reuben. He looks a little worse for wearing this morning. For wear this morning. He took it hard when his wife died and never did quite give up the drink. I think I know what ritual was performed at the stone circle. It all adds up. It was a summoning spell. Someone called to something across the void and tried to bring it here. And with the state of that body all torn to shreds, I'd say they succeeded. Ugh. And, the, and then the gilded dendra, that really got me thinking. I found this in Dr. Worthing's besti be be uh, bestiary. A little light reading for you. I'm headed to Grisdale Forest again. The sisterhood will know more. Hey. Oh, sheesh. Let's zoom in a little bit. It has many names. Some call it the Woken Dendru. Believing it to be related in some way to the deadly gilded dendra plant. Others call it the Night Stalker, the Miasma, or the Dread. But the most common name for it in the Shires is the Servant. I don't say Servant, guess what it looks like. You have heard of it in children's songs such as Keep the Fire Burning and Savant and Master. And there are hints of it in the older stories, but nobody alive has seen it in the flesh. It is said that the dead ground northeast of Tibet were nothing but black digitus mortis grows was caused when the servant last walked our land hundreds of years ago okay so i'm assuming it means northeast of tibet is where we have to go so let's see tibet northeast northeast the wide area of blackened ground here is known to the locals as dead man's field Dark mushrooms protrude from the soil, like fingers reaching out from the grave. Ooh, are we finally gonna get to know what, like, uh, maybe one of these, like this one, is? Let's see. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Y'all, I'm gonna shut up. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. End of the day. Let's put this away. See what we have for tomorrow. What? Ooh, maybe the eye, maybe leave the eye on it. Every day she attentively followed the teachings of the Arda. Every day she patiently performed the task given to her. Every day thoughts of the book itched away at the back of her mind. Loading, day 10, Sunday. All right, so do we have to use this? Yep. A secret uncovered is a secret no more. Two miles north of Foxfield. Okay. Let's go two miles north of Foxfield. Got the fine Foxfield. Mm. Oh, oh, here it is. Two miles north. One, two. Three ravens circle above their caws and croaks, cleaving the silence. An omen, I take what I came for and leave. What did we get? Okay. Ooh, I think I know what this is. I think. I think. I think it's Ember Soul. Like if you look at, um. Oh, okay. That's that's there. I got confused for a second. All right. So this Ember Soul. Look at that. See? Like, look how the little things look coming up like that. I think this might be it. I'll take a look real quick. Ember Soul. 
So it says, Embersol is thought to have protective properties. It is sometimes given, blah, 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 blah. Produces flowers with many petals. Watch out for leaves. They're razor sharp. Yeah, see? Jagged leaves. So yeah, I think we're right. We're right there. All right, next. Ah, uh, Schaefer's back. One from your librarian friend today. In ref, oh gosh, y'all. Okay, I jumped the gun. I jumped the gun. I think we already figured this out. In reference to your question the other day about Long Meg, I'm afraid I do not have an answer, but Calder Abbey has a wealth of knowledge on local lore. If you ever go there, the monks will request a plant from you, but they won't tell you what they want. A sort of test. They never allowed me to look through their stacks. Okay. But Calder Abbey? Calder Abbey. What is that? Is that like on the map somewhere? Well, I think whenever they give you will to explore. Here we go. Calder Abbey. It means you're going somewhere. A small window opens from with opens within the much larger oak door. From the darkness within a voice proclaims, only a friend may enter. Say what now? Only a friend may enter. Y'all. Do we have Golden light. Start at Long Meg. Is Golden Light? No. It's probably not the name of something either. These names are all scientific type names. Who in me, y'all? If you ever go there, have we ever read anything? Let me read through some of these, y'all, and, and I'll come back. All right, y'all. So I didn't find anything in the archive, but I brought this book out because I, I vaguely remember there being something in here about giving someone something. I don't know. I could be making it up. So let me look through the book and see if I find anything. Okay, y'all. So I went through all the flowers and I have a list of four with one that I think it is. I have a, I have a first and second place. And then after that, I'm not sure. But the first one I came across was Cauldry. Because this one says something about placing a flower as an offering. But I was like, mm, not sure. But I wrote it down. The next one is this one, Clavillium. Because they say it can be used to open a lock. And I was like, well, we're not really opening a lock here. They're talking about, you know, letting them know that you're good to enter. So the next one was Ember Soul. This says it had protected properties. It is sometimes given as an offering to various deities in return for sanctuary. But I'm like, these are monks. They're not deities. And the one that I think it is... What did I think it is? It's Fox Button. And it says an offering of Fox Button is considered by some to represent a contract of friendship between strangers. So we're going to find some Fox Button and see if that is what it is. So is it this? No, it's Hot Part. This one? Nope, that's Meek Do. That one? Fox Button. Okay, I don't know. That's my best guess. Yes, okay. I'm so glad I remember it. Now, granted, I didn't remember four being mentioned, but clearly there were four being mentioned. Um, all right, so we got a page. Sheep snap. The sheep snap is thought to bring good fortune when prepared correctly. The green seed pods of sheep snap have a hard outer shell and sound hollow when tapped. To the south, they call this plant bulbs of bayonne. Bayonne, bayonne, sheep snap. Interesting. Okay. The hatch snaps shut and the oak door swings inward, slowly without a sound. I am ushered in by a man wearing a plain brown robe. He nods silently when I ask about Long Meg and leads me through the abbey to a small library filled with scrolls and books. 
Without a word, he pauses for a moment, surveying before selecting a scroll and handing it to me. Oh, so we did this already. Yup, there's a check mark, y'all. Okay, so I messed up looking it up. <laughs> That's funny. All right. So this can go in the archives and so can this. All right, next. The sisterhood are trying my patience again. If the old Arda was around, but she's not. They've kept secrets for hundreds of years. If ever there was a time to share them, it is now. They know of a way to defeat this servant, some ritual or weapon or something, but their stubborn pride won't bring them to ask for help. Well, I won't sit idly by and do nothing. I'd better have a little chat with this new Arda. And I think I'll take some mountain astery with me. Have we found that? Oh gosh, no. Oh geez. Okay, promotes an aura of confidence and persuasiveness. A large the large cup like flowers produce a stale, damp smell. Is it this? Musty. I think it's this, y'all. I think it's this. Yep. All right. Mountain Astery. Cool. Weeping Bell. A plant that's believed by many to lead to gold. You'll have about as much luck searching for the end of, the ra of a rainbow. The soft fruit of leaves can soothe insect bites and stings. It is also known as golden light and sometimes fool's hope. Interesting. Y'all, okay, hold on, before I forget. <laughs> so that was Mountain Astery. So we, with the archive. Remember this golden light? So do we have Do we get golden light? South three, east two. Didn't we do that before? Now I'm confused. We thought it was here. And we said, what was it? South three, east two. And we were like, South three, one, two, three, and east two. Okay. Interesting that we had to come back to one of these. And I only remembered this because I just looked through them when I was looking for that clue. I had just started looking through this. The river is in its youth here, flowing swiftly through the rocks with the melodic gurgle. Among the tall grasses that line the riverbank is a much more unusual looking flower. Oh, I already explored here. So we f Oh, okay. Wait, so are you trying to say that we have? Oh, so basically y'all, we found golden light. We just don't know which one it is because we don't have a page for it. So maybe once we get the page, Oh shoot, you know what? Now I feel like I need to go back and look at the video to see what we found there. I don't remember. Thomas Green, I have finished the designs you asked me to work on. Be very careful unwrapping these. Some of the glasswork is quite delicate and I've taken great care transporting them. My la lab equipment, my lab equipment is finally here. I will now be able to brew elixirs using ingredients from my plants. What? Wow. So that's what this is. 
interesting. Very interesting. So I'm assuming, y'all, that this second plant is this. This one right here. I'm assuming that's that. This third one, I think, is this one. But we don't know what this um first one is. Like, have we gotten anything that looks... Ooh, no, because this is round. See? Round leaves. So I don't think we've gotten whatever this flower is right now. We can brew elixirs. This game just... Oh, wait. Yes and no. This get oh, it might be this. Do we want to try that? I mean, I'm unsure. I'm unsure, but let's try it. Let's try Butterdale. Let's do this one, and then this one. Oh gosh, I made a mistake. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So yeah, it's it's definitely not this one. I didn't think it was, to be honest with you. I wanted to see, but that's so cool. So yeah, we'll have to come back, I guess. Well, this is so cool. When we think we found what that is. Bethany Coleman. The new Arda wouldn't let me, wouldn't like me being here, but the forest is in danger. I spoke with Verona Green earlier. It's bad. If the Dendru has awoken, then it will come for us. You must place an offering at the altar of Arduino. Oh, we know this one. We know this one. We know this one. Hold on before we do that. Um, What do we need? Was it Cauldry? Yes, so we need to do a cauldry. And we think... This is cauldry? Yeah, we, that's cauldry. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I think we got this. I think we got this. So what is this? There's a church here. There's a church and then there's a mountain. There's two churches. Here's a church. Pretty straight. Mountain. The side of a river. I think it's this. I think Rustland is a church. And I think that's a church. And it might be right here underneath that mountain. Let's see. Yeah. It seems Beth has been able to keep her fellow sisters away from this part of the forest, for now at least. The trees are thick here, old too. The altar seems to belong here, as much a part of the forest as the gnarled trunks and twisted roots. I must place an offering to the goddess Arduina. Well, we already know it's cauldry, but, and we think this is cauldry. Because we, we looked up what these were. Yay! Y'all, I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Oh, wait, call Dury. E-R, okay. I'm proud. Evulum. The scent it produces is considered overpowering by some, but it's said to stimulate the senses and rejuvenate aching bones. Evulum has many short, pretty leaves. Okay. Before we do anything, let's... Mark Cauldry. Get that over here. Oof, we got a full stacks. I'm proud. I'm proud of that one. <laughs> Natalie Cooper. I'm being harassed by loonies, shouting about the redemption, saying they're going to set it free, whatever the heck that means. Yeah, I said heck. Leave me alone. 
Well, they can take their seeds of whatever, woken something or other nonsense, and stick it where the sun don't shine or doesn't shine. I'm not joining their darn cult. I just want to tend my garden in peace. I'm looking for some lark shine to drive them away if they came round again. All right, so we thought that this was lark shine. Yep. And I remember it vivid vividly. Woohoo! Lark shine. Okay. Oh, and the end of day. Cool. Uh, Lyle of Neptune? Also called Truth Sayer, this plant will force a person to tell the truth when eaten. The sparse petaled pale flowers give off a strong scent. Sparsely petaled. I don't think we have that. Yeah. Okay. End of the day, y'all. This was a good day. This was a good day. It was. Basically, I didn't need to just be clicking. Remember the beginning of the game, I was just clicking on stuff. You really need to just follow the clues and not just be clicking aimlessly. Okay. I think those are mountain heights. I guarantee you those are mountain heights. In time, she learned that the sisterhood has secrets. Or has she always known that? Had she come to them by chance or has she sought them out deliberately? She wasn't sure. But by now she knew what she wanted and she would do anything to get it. Hey. Day 11, Monday. I'm curious, y'all. I'm curious, so just bear with me um, before we end. <laughs> I just want to see something. Look at that, 902-803. Yep, see? Oh, like 902. It's Bofell, 803. So is that going to line up like this? Yup. So we'll have to go here. Okay, that's fine. We know exactly what we're doing next episode. I just had to do it. I had to. That was too easy. But anyway, all right, y'all. That's going to be it for this episode. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. If I see more, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.